power of the virtual world increases every day. By the time you've watched this program, that power will have grown even more. A young student in a developing country will have accessed the library of a prestigious university. A senior citizen who's never travelled abroad will have visited a country on the other side of the world. A small company manager will have attended an international conference without even leaving the office. With each of these achievements, the virtual world brings about another real-world victory for education, dialogue and better understanding between people. But there's nothing virtual about the hazards that accompany modern communication technologies. Now the tiniest country with computer experts, computer scientists, can develop the means to attack larger, more, much more powerful countries and maybe cause them just as much damage uh, that you could do with a, a physical attack or a bombing raid. Cyber war today is something that does not really require a country to attack another country. I just have to be a cyber criminal and I have my 200,000 botnets, computers that have been hijacked and I issue a command for them to launch massive attacks, as massive as a country could do. The scary phenomenon is that 26% of those attacks led to loss of data from governments. 14% financial institutions, 15% healthcare. So we talk about data which, I would argue, are sensitive. You don't know who's on the clickety-clack of the keyboard. Who's breaking into my system? Is it a kid? Is it a foreign intelligence service? Is it a competitor for economic espionage? You don't know when it's occurring, and it takes days to do robust investigations to identify the perpetrators. That, to me, is an important gap that needs to be filled in terms of intelligence and law enforcement. We do not have any capabilities to provide warning of attacks now, nor do we know who they are. It's become clear that many future wars and acts of terrorism will take place in cyberspace rather than in the physical world. The reason? Knowledge is power. The internet has made the knowledge base both accessible and vulnerable. Information warfare is the act of attacking this data. Information warfare is not limited to disputes between countries. It can include corporate and economic espionage, as well as bored teenagers looking to make a reputation as a hacker. And while it takes place in cyberspace, the impact can be felt on the street, as so many of our key infrastructures depend on computers to operate effectively.